Hello guys, welcome to another video and this is a big one. This is the tutorial to install the FIFA Mod Manager for FIFA 22. If you don't know, FIFA Mod Manager is the software used to launch, apply uh, mods so you can, you know, play uh, your modded game and use whatever mods either you have made or other people have made. So yeah, it's, uh, it's similar to Frosty Mod Manager that you may have used for FIFA 17, 18, 19, or 20, but uh, this one is for FIFA 21 or FIFA 22, or actually Man 22, and it's much more advanced, there's a lot of new features, a bit more stable, stuff like that. But uh, it is quite similar in how it's used. This tutorial will be specifically for FIFA 22, but it should be relatively similar for FIFA 21 or Madden 22. So it's pretty simple. First, you want to go to fifaeditortool.com. Link is in the description. If you have an ad blocker, I would actually uh, recommend disabling it because ads on the website are a big part of how this project is funded. And you just want to click the download button. You're going to go here and you want to click download on the mod manager. Uh, you are always going to want the latest version, of course. So right now that is uh, 1.0.9, but when you're watching this, it might be later. Uh, the same thing applies. There's also the editor, which I won't get into today, but that's how you create your own mods. Uh, I will make a separate tutorial for that at some point. And here you can see the change log if you want to see what's changed in the last version. But just click download here. It'll bring you to Mega, which is the file provider. It's pretty simple. Just click download and it should just take a little minute to download. And then uh, once it has downloaded, you're going to want to extract it. And uh, normally this is done with a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. You probably already have one installed, but if not, you can download it from rarlab.com slash download.htm, link is in the description. Just go here and click whatever language and whatever uh, operating system you're using, either 32-bit or 64-bit. So once the file has downloaded, we can open it up in WinRAR uh, or whatever program you're using, and you want to extract the whole folder. Uh, that's just the easiest way to do it. You don't want to put the exe directly into, you know, your documents folder or another folder with a million other files because that will just cause issues and create confusion. You also do not want to install it in your program files folder. That's just unnecessary complexity and may lead to issues. So I just recommend you extract the whole folder in your desktop or documents folder. So I'll just do that here. Super easy. And if you have any issues with the extraction process, normally you can Google it and find a solution. You can also use the extract to function, which is pretty similar. Anyways, once we've done that, we just want to open the folder and you want to open the exe. You can either double click it or go right click open. You may also want to run it as an administrator, but it shouldn't matter too much. And then it'll open and uh, it will automatically scan for the games that you have installed on your computer. So for me, it'll bring up all three support games because I have them installed, but for you, it may only show one, two, whatever, whatever. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it does show the game that you want, in this case, FIFA 22. If it doesn't, you can try clicking scan for games again. And uh, if it still doesn't, you can click new and you can select the EXE manually wherever it is installed on your computer. If you still can't get it to load, you want to make sure that you are using the right version, 1.0.9 or later, you may want to re-download it. But once we've selected our game, if you want to make it default, if you're only going to really use it for that one game, you can select that. If not, just go select, and then it will open something like this. Again, it's pretty simple to use. If you have a mod that you want to import, click import mods. I'm not going to go too in-depth on how to install mods and stuff, but I'll go over the basic process. But once you've downloaded the mods you want to use, you can go click import mods here, or you can drag them onto the screen like this. You can also drag a RAR onto the screen or import a RAR or zip archive or even 7z, although generally it's best to import the mods directly. Anyways, once you've done that, to apply the mod, you just want to click apply mods. Simple as that. You can check out the description tab and you can see, uh, you know, whatever the mod creator has put in the description. You can see any links to social media sites. You can also see the affected files list, which is pretty advanced. You can filter for specific types of modified files. You can copy paths or export all file paths. But again, that's a more advanced feature and most people won't need to do that. And then once the mod is installed, generally you can just click launch game. Uh, there is another option here, delete FIFA mod data on launch. If you are experiencing any issues uh, with the mod, you may want to do that. It kind of clears the cache, if you will, and it may uh, fix some issues and stuff like that. But uh, if you're just using the mod manager for the first time, you're probably not going to need to do that. And it should never be done regularly, you know, just uh, if you're experiencing issues or something like that. A few other features of the mod manager, you can go settings and you can change various FIFA settings instead of doing it in the installer. So you could do all the 
normal stuff. There are also two mod manager settings. You could use the alternative launch method. So if you're experiencing an issue where the game won't launch using the mod manager, you might want to apply this and see what happens. And then there's also use low memory mode, which is enabled by default. But if you have a ton of memory, like 32 or 64 gigabytes, you might want to uh, disable this, but I have 64 gigabytes of RAM and I keep it enabled. You can also switch between DirectX 11 and DirectX 12. Uh, it's best to keep it on DirectX 11, uh, but again, it's your choice. You can also create different profiles for the mod manager. So if you like to subtypes use one set of mods and another set of mods, you can do that very easily. And say we have two mods here. This is just a random test mod I have. We can apply that again. And now you can use some of the features to uh, you know, change the order of the mods. You can drag them. You can use these controls or you can even use the move to the top, move to the bottom ones or delete a mod from the applied list. You'll see the estimated install size here too, which is a cool little thing. There's the conflicts tab and a few other things, including, you know, you could filter mods and search for things, but that's generally it. Uh, it's a pretty simple program and uh, it's super easy to use and very stable, I think. When you are launching the game, as you can see here, it does say this may take some time up to uh, 30 minutes or longer. And uh, that is generally true. Sometimes it can take quite a long time, but uh, generally it should be quite short, especially in the new version, as we made some major improvements to launch times, especially when it's not on uh, the SSD drive. So hopefully it shouldn't be that long for you, but it really depends. Modding is obviously a pretty complex process, uh, even with the software as good as it is. So there is a chance that you may run into some sort of issue or something. So if the issue is with the tool, you definitely want to join the Discord. Link is in the description and uh, you can find it on the website too, uh, Discord here. It's free to join, takes two seconds and you can report any issues, get tons of help, stuff like that. However, if your issue is with mods themselves, you're going to want to ask the mod creators and not in this server. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, about the tool, you could follow us on Twitter, which I would highly recommend. So you can see, uh, you can get, uh, you know, news when a new version releases and see new features, stuff like that. If you have any uh, cash to spare, I would also recommend joining the Patreon because it does help fund the tool and add new features, improve the stability and stuff like that. But so yeah, if you are feeling generous and you want to help, it is super appreciated. Link is in the description again, but that is totally optional. But yeah, that's how you install FIFA Mod Manager for FIFA 22. It's pretty simple, but if you need any help, make sure to join the Discord, like I said. And yeah, hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. I've been running out of time, think I need a rewind, feeling out of life. I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you.